if you don't live in New York City and you're a tourist, you come in around this time of year. So there's lots of tourists pouring in from all over the world. They want to call their friends at home and their family and tell them about what's going on and what they've seen. So they head into a cell phone store, and there's two specifically in great locations, prepaid mobile. There's one on 7th Avenue and 36th Street, and there's one on Broadway and 32nd Street. Perfect for tourists. There's lots of things to see around there. They head into the store to buy a SIM card like this one. They put this SIM card into their phones, and it will work for their duration of their stay in their cell phones from another country. Then the problem occurs when they're asked for their credit card to verify their identity because they're not from this country. Not knowing better, they give the people their credit cards and they're swiped. They leave the store thinking that they just spent the $27 in the SIM card and it turns out a couple hours, a couple days, sometimes a couple weeks later, they're charged hundreds to thousands of dollars on their credit card that they did not authorize. And then I say, hey, 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 what happened here? Why do you charge me $1,000 when I just have to pay $495? He said, no, this is a deposit because uh, you, you cannot use the phone uh, with a U.S. career here, and then when you go back to Spain, you have to send an email, and then in three days, three business days, we will refund you the deposit. This has been happening a lot. We went on complaints.com, and there are literally hundreds of complaints about this exact same store. I actually spoke to somebody named Brian. He's from Malaysia. He has the thick accent, but he's actually a New Yorker, and he was taking advantage of too. He went into the store thinking he was buying a $50 accessory, and he was actually charged $999. Everything was written in blue as the man was talking to him. He then switched pens, which was his biggest mistake, went back and wrote in the $999 in red ink that you can see clearly here. I went to one of the locations on 32nd and Broadway, and with some convincing, I got the store manager to speak to me. Now, he's a new store manager. His name is Z. They just sent him out from California when this whole thing started going down to basically clean up the mess. But from what I've seen, he actually is taking care of the problem. We have a whole new system. All the current employees have been terminated, and um, we are addressing everybody's issue personally now. So if they're going to come in and, you know, they need something addressed to, and we'll take care of it as quickly as possible. Uh, what a lot of the analysts are saying, the best way to avoid this is not to buy from the dude on 7th Avenue, but to go to you know, T-Mobile, go to Sprint, go to the carrier and get your phones there. You'll also get some of the best deals there. My wife and I had our identity stolen, and it was you know, huge stores, and all of a sudden it was $40,000. Now, the good news is uh, we were not responsible for that, So, but it took, you know, it took a few months to work through the paperwork. This is all about uh, verifying their identity. What do all international traveler, travelers have to bring with them? Their passport. That is the number one identification that you can have in or out of the United States. Some of these consumers have to be a little bit more careful. With uh, the bureaucracy in New York, you're better off just going direct to the source. I wonder what de Blasio is going to do about it. It's, it's been a rough uh, year and a half this in office. This is easily we'll Bill de Blasio's fault. Oh. Could be. <laughs> All Bill de Blasio's. Good.